Starting airsoft with sniper rifle is the worst idea. Let's find out why. Well, I know you've seen a lot of videos with these, you know, long shots or these invisible ghillie moments. Uh, I know it's looking super cool and you want to have the same experience in sniping in airsoft, but the reality is uh, it's just a lie. Because look, uh, in this 6, 8 or 10 minute video, you've got just the best shots and the best moments from entire day. So 3, 4, 5 hours of playing. Uh, so that's telling a lot. For 90 or 95% of the time you will be, you know, sneaking around, you know, moving slowly, waiting for enemies. Uh, and it can be just boring at the beginning because you are seeking action. Uh, you want to have this, you know, best moments, you want to encounter enemies. Uh, so at the beginning it could be just boring. Keep that in mind. Also YouTubers won't show you, you know, missed shots or the situations where the sniper rifle was there death sentence and they could handle the situation with just simple assault rifle uh, so keep that in mind that there is a lot of situation in entire day that they are missing so easy shots or you know they got killed in some stupid way because they've got the sniper rifle not assault uh, so also keep that in mind and you know don't get me wrong uh, I don't have any bad attitude to snipers it's just really tough business uh, because to being more effective with bolt action, uh, you need to actually, you know, play for a few years. Uh, because, you know, you don't have any skills and you need to know how to move, where to move, when to move, how to, you know, react to certain situations. You need to know how the players are reacting to contact. Uh, you know, there's a lot of factors that you need to learn and skills. Uh, and at the beginning, you have none of this uh, so you know it will be just your nightmare uh, to play with bolt action uh, next thing you know sniper rifles nowadays have like 20 maybe 25 meters more of range than standard good well-maintained AEG so that's not a lot back in the days like five six seven years ago the gap was much bigger it was like 35 to even 40 meters of the difference uh, not even talking about HPAs nowadays, DMRs for example. In Polish limit it's like 2.6 Joule and with good well-maintained HPA DMR you've got like 95 meters of range. So basically there is no gap between uh, good DMR and bolt action, just slightly difference. So you know you will not have this big advantage that you think you will have, uh, keep that in mind. Also experienced players have some struggle to get to the position silently and you know be undetected for some time there because you know due to the short distances of the engagement uh, in the airsoft. Next thing, uh, in this range between 20 to 60 meters, uh, how you can win the face-to-face -face encounter if you have the bolt action? Uh, if you don't have the element of the surprise, it's just really impossible to do that. Uh, because imagine the situation when you can just shot one shot, uh, shot one shot, uh, but shot one BB uh, to the enemy and the enemy actually can spray you with full auto with 30, 50, 60 BBs. It's just nearly impossible to win and you are just on the lost position. And you know, you will say, yeah, yeah, I've got the pistol, etc. But the reality is uh, pistol aren't effective if the range is more than 30 meters or even 20. Uh, unless you buy, you know, 250 bucks or 300 bucks uh, Tokyo Marui stuff, but still you will be, you know, not as effective as with the rifle because it's lack of accuracy, a lack of ammunition, lack of power. Uh, it's just not effective over these 30 meters, so you will be still in the, you know, lost position. And sure, in this, you know, sub 20 meters range, you can take guy easily with your secondary. However, I just want to tell you that the assault rifle is just more universal in, in many situations. And I want to thank sponsors of our channel, which is Kurahi. It's Polish manufacturer that provides high quality military stuff, such as like vests, uniforms. Check out the description for more. And next chapter, money. Uh, there is no, you know, cheap sniper rifle out there and it's probably, you know, the most common question on the all Facebook groups. Uh, people asking about, you know, cheap sniping. No, uh, it's not cheap. There's some compromise in this Novridge uh, SSG-10, but still, if you want to have, you know, well-maintained, consistent and, you know, good sniper rifle, you need to spend at least 600 bucks 
uh, without scope, just the base. Uh, so that's pretty lot. And it's not like you will spend this amount of money and you will play out of the box. Uh, you need to actually buy the base and, you know, upgrade it with some aftermarket parts. And at the beginning, you don't have any knowledge in this case. And even 10 YouTube videos will not change that. It is how it is. Probably only SRS from Silverback is ready to go out of the box with just spring changes. The rest of the things, yeah, you just need to buy the aftermarket parts and upgrade it. So it's not that easy. You need to, you know, send the rifle to the service. Yeah, at the beginning, it's... I think it's not good for you, to be honest. So, summing up this short video, uh, once again, don't get me wrong, because sniping in airsoft is wonderful experience, uh, but to have, you know, this joy, to have fun, you need to actually learn a lot before starting. It can be boring, because for 90% of the time you will be just sneaking around, you know, staying in one place, uh, so at the beginning, to have more fun and more action, I would just suggest you to buy some good, decent AAG. You will have just more action, you will learn more because of that. Uh, you will learn how to move, you will learn how to, you know, react to contact. It will be just better for you, in my opinion, and you will have much more fun with AAG. Also, there is big probability that you will have more kills. After a few months of playing, you will meet some friends uh, and it's a good idea before switching to sniper rifle to actually borrow it for like one, two, three games. You will just find out if it's for you or not. Because from my experience, it's maybe not weird to play with bolt action, uh, but it's just, you know, another story. For me, uh, running and gunning, uh, you know, rushing, yelling is just much more fun. Uh, then rather than sitting in one place. Yeah, I'm running HPA, so I've got the range, I've got the performance, I've got the, you know, consistency, and I can outperform most of the players. Uh, this, you know, extra range with sniper rifle is cool, but to be honest, I don't need that. So yeah, based on my experience, I think at the beginning you should go with AG or HPA assault rifle if you have the budget, because you will have just a hell of more fun with that. And at the end of the day, I think having fun is just the most important thing in every sport, in every hobby, so keep that in mind. And yes, I know you watched this whole video hoping that I will say sniping is for you, but it's not. Bye bye.